I just try to get away. I'll go camping because then my phone won't work and I can't even get caught up in any of the bullshit. But even then, even no matter how far I try to run away from negativity, it's always going to haunt you a little bit. It's always going to be in the shadows somewhere. Go camping. I'll hike all the way up to a waterfall. I'll sit in front of that waterfall for hours. Now, I'm not a God-fearing man, but if I was going to believe in something, that would be the moment when you're staring at a waterfall alone. Why, it's like, oh, man, this is whoever created this. That's their tapestry cascading over their own creation, and this is amazing. But then there's always going to be a voice like, hey, Kyle, what if waterfalls are just rivers that are trying to kill themselves? I'm like, <laughs> God damn it, man. Why can't you just let me have this? I can't have one nice thing. I go camp where I go camping. There's a lot of bats. I like bats. I like seeing bats. I think they're a maligned creature, and that's unfair because bats. First off, bats eat mosquitoes, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, so right, right on there. Give me them bats. Give me them bats. I love them. And also, bats uh, gave me this. Now, it, this just puts a smile on my face. And I don't know if it's the same for you, but if ever I feel low, I think about this. Because I was at my campsite one night, and it was dusk, and the bats were coming out. And I was just, like, looking at the bats, just, just, just thinking about them. I was like, man, I bet you bats with big dicks don't get a lot of sleep. And that... <laughs> it's more the imagery than the thought. Bats sleep upside down. And that's... <laughs> And you also have to imagine a comically large penis. <laughs> imagine a cute little bat with his cute little bat arms just trying to get some sleep, and his uh, big old crank just hanging down, hitting him in the face. He's like, ah, ah. Imagine the next day he's hanging out with other bats, and he's just got that comically large. He's like, oh, it looks like a blessing, but it's a curse. I can't, I'm too tired to do anything with it. Also, I don't have the cardiovascular system put into place to maintain an erection. If I get, if this, if I get a boner, I'll die. You understand? <laughs> My whole life is just being a bat, eating mosquitoes, thinking unsexy thoughts just so I can see another day, which I can't because I'm blind because I'm a bat. That even seems like a country fried phrase that should have been out already in the world. You're like, oh, you look exhausted. I'm more tired than a big dick bat. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> like that rolls off the tongue. I don't think I invented that. That comes out too easy. That like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like I saw that needle pointed at, at Cracker Barrel or something. <laughs> like somebody snuck that in amongst all the wholesome stuff. <laughs> that's like, that's, that, I think I read that in a farmer's almanac. I was like, that's, that's old prospector lingo. <laughs> Some guy coming down from the mountain with pots and pans tied to his overalls. Emmett, did you find anything? No, and I'm more tired than a big dick bat for looking. <laughs> Even if I fade away in this world, if that phrase enters the lexicon <laughs> with any kind of regularity, I consider my existence a success. <laughs> so please use that. Please use it at work. Use it at work on Monday. Tell your boss. How's your weekend? It was fun. I mean, I'm more tired than a big dick bat, but it was a good time, I'll tell you that much. What does that even mean? I, I, honestly, I kind of forgot, but it just rolls off the tongue. It's crude, but eloquent at the same time. <laughs>